Hi, I'm Ted Cook with reallycheapfloors.com and today I have been tasked with telling you everything I know about hickory flooring. Sadly, it won't take too long, but let's go ahead and get started, okay? Uh, hickory is, is unique compared to some of the other hardwood species that are used with, with flooring. Um, red oak is a, is a common species, white oak, maple, um, and then we see some of the imported species like the birch. But the, what hickory has going for it, there's two things, two places which are really different. One is it's the look of a hickory, it's aesthetics, and the second is how hard it is. So that's, those are some of the things that we're going to talk about today and, and try to let you better understand why would you want a hickory floor, okay? Let's start off talking about the aesthetics. Uh, what does hickory look like? Well, honestly, it depends on the grade. When, when they grade a, a piece of hickory, um, whether it's been made into flooring or hasn't, or, or hasn't been milled yet, they look at it and they say, okay, will this be select? Will it be clear? Will it be a number one common, a number two common? And uh, the highest grades are really clear. They're almost all the same color. They're typically long boards, not the most desirable of hickory because most people that want hickory want color in it, but there's still quite a bit of that. The next common grade would be like a, a builder grade or a number one common, and you'll see more color in it, more brown on cream, no, no real radical colors, no real radical uh, characteristics or, or distinguishing features in, in a number one common or a, or a builder grade wood. The, the lowest of the grades is character or cabin or blue label, depending on what company it is. And in those, you're going to see the extremes. We can see black lines in it. We can see gray lines in it. We can see um, small knots that are possibly unfilled. We can see white streaks in the board. We also see shorter board length in cabin, but that's going to be true with any species of wood. So what that means when we're having this variation in color, if we lay down a whole floor of, of clear or select, it's gonna all be the same color. It's gonna look like a gymnasium floor that, that's made out of maple, okay? They use a select maple for gym floors and that's the kind of aesthetic you would get. In a number one floor, you'll get a, quite a bit more range in color. Um, but again, they're gonna be soft browns. You won't see any of the gray and black like you, like you see in the cabin gray. Now, the cabin grade, when you put it, put it down, because it does have those, those extreme contrasts and all the short boards, uh, a cabin grade is gonna look like a mosaic. And that holds a great deal of appeal to, to lots of people in some applications. And if you're looking for a rustic application, you can't beat a, a cabin grade hickory. Yes, it has a lot of shorts. Yes, it has a color. Yes, it has a lot of shorts and it has a lot of color. So it depends on what you're looking for. Okay, if you really want all those shorts and all that color, let us know so we can go up on the price. Because frankly, only about 5% of a tree will make a number two or cabin grade floor. So most of the, most of the floor that's out there in the market is going to be cleaner. And that's why our customers, uh, when, when we get cabin grade or number two common uh, hickory natural, it goes quickly be, just because there's just not enough of it. Now, the next thing I promised we'd talk about is the, uh, is the hardness of it. There is a scale in the wood industry. It's called the Janka score or Janka scale. Um, if you want to look that up, it's J-A-N-K-A. -A. Fella figured out a long time ago how many foot pounds of pressure you have to hit a, a, a 44 caliber steel ball with to get it half its thickness into a piece of wood. Now, you're probably not going to do that with your floor, but it is a great way to compare how hard is this floor? And what that means is when, when you, your, the Tonka trucks or the, the drop casserole dishes or somebody wore their baseball cleats in the house, what is going to be the effect on our floor? With a floor that uh, is really dense, like a hickory floor is, um, you're looking at a Janka score of 1820. Now that's about 25% harder than a white oak or red oak, which runs about 1260, 1350, something like that. It's a lot of difference. And the effect that's going to have is it's going to increase the lifetime of your floor. Because I'll be honest, the lifetime of floor is dependent upon change in appearance. Okay? If, if you drop a bowling ball on your floor the first day you have it, you have a big dent right in the doorway, you're going to be unhappy about that. But it might be never that you drop a bowling ball. I don't think I've ever dropped a bowling ball on mine. But 
the, that change in appearance over time. Usually it's in the area where you walk, over here underneath the table. Maybe you don't have any change of appearance because you, know, you don't move there. You don't drop things there. But it's that change in appearance over time that determines the lifetime of your floor, whether it's hardwood flooring, carpet, vinyl, whatever. It's that change in appearance. So hickory, because it's so hard, and especially in the lower grades with all that variation in color, you don't get that change in appearance over time. So while it sounds, you know, maybe as Hyperbole saying a hickory floor lasts longer than anything else, it's actually the truth, just because you don't get that change in appearance. Now, if a dent in a floor is going to bother you, don't buy hardwood flooring to begin with, okay? It's a hardwood floor. I, don't, I really don't want a dent on my tabletop, but on my floor, it's a floor. I'm not going to sweat it. But that's still something that, that you need to be aware of. And, and one advantage of a, of a select hickory, you know, you can go out and start applying stains on that floor and get a, a perfect color. When you stain a number two floor, because it has dark and light boards, those boards take stain different, you're still going to have variation in color. Certainly not as much as a natural, natural or a rustic floor, but you're going to get that change in color. With a, with a higher grade, oh, it, it, it holds a really rich, straight-grained look. Uh, not as straight grained as a maple. It'll have a little more character than a maple, a little less predictable than a maple, but uh, the, those stained uh, hickory floors are, are pretty impressive to look at. Um, now, there is a downside to hickory. With that density comes a problem. When we certainly, you know, we're here in the south and we have big swings in humidity. In the winter, like right now, it's cold and it's dry. In the spring, starting about March, it's going to rain where our humidity levels are going to come up and a house that doesn't have uh, HVAC or air conditioning in it, some sort of moisture control, everything in the house absorbs water, okay, but especially wood. And when we're talking about a, a softer wood like a pine, it can absorb water without changing the volume, without changing shape, okay, because it's so porous there's room to add water in the cells of that board. But a hickory board, what makes it hard is it doesn't have that porosity. It doesn't have those air cells. So when you add water to a hickory, it's going to expand more than the other species will, which can be a problem, okay? For that reason, we don't recommend five inch solid hickory floors in the south. It's just, it's really hard to keep the relative humidity in your home perfect enough all year round to keep that floor from moving. Now, um, one way you can get around that is by using an engineered floor. If you're not familiar with engineered floors, a lot of people have a bad taste in your mouth. Oh, I don't want any of that laminate junk. Hey, I, I've got engineered in my house. If you want a wide hickory floor, you can't beat our blue label from Somerset. Now, and I'm gonna tell you why. Most engineered floors, when they, when they cut that top layer, that veneer, they peel a log. They go around and around and around that because it gets the highest yield. Somerset doesn't do that. Uh, they have a process where they cut it just exactly like they do the hard, the solid wood floors. They just do it much thinner, okay? And what they do then is that, that veneer goes on top of that other seven layers of hardwood that they've used. This, uh, Somerset floors are, are probably the highest quality quality floors produced in the U.S. Um, there might be some as good, but I don't think there's anything better. So what we get is we get a total of eight layers of hardwood. Each layer alternates directions. The reason they do that is because when you do get moisture in it, it won't expand like that. They, they set each other off. So anyway, you got seven hardwood cores and then you've got that, uh, that hickory top. So when you nail that down, it looks just exactly like the five inch solid. The difference is if you want to open the doors and windows, you can do that and your floor doesn't turn into a washboard. Very big deal. Um, the, the engineered floor won't be quite as hard because the core boards are not hard, as hard as hickory. They're usually as hard as red oak natural. Um, well, they're always, at, at Somerset, they're always at least as hard as red oak natural. So you will get a jank of around 1270 or so. Anyway, it's, it's a great way. It is your floor is a great way to, to, to uh, you put hickory or any of your really hard woods on a concrete slab or in an area that experiences big swings in moisture. Now, price-wise, uh, hickory is a little more expensive than red oak, and it's just because red oak is so common. Uh, actually, technically, the red oak that we use is called northern red oak. It's possibly the most common hardwood in the 
certainly in the, in the eastern United States, possibly the whole United States. So red oak is always common and, and cheap. White oak tends to run a little bit more because there's other uses for white oak. All liquor barrels and wine barrels are made out of white oak. Bet you didn't know that. If you uh, have a chance to use that during trivia, make sure you credit me with that, okay? Um, when wine gets and liquor sales go up, the price of white oak flooring goes up. Crazy enough, just because of that demand, demand for barrels. Um, there is a big difference in price between the lower grades of hickory and the higher grades. Unfortunately, because of the demand for the lower grades, we just don't see near enough cabin grade floors. Uh, let's see. That's, I think that's about all you probably want to know about hickory. You know, a little background on hickory. It's so hard, you know, they, they make things um, like axe handles out of hickory. It's a really hard wood. What are some other things made of hickory? Um, they don't make a lot of mill work out of it. Again, because it's so hard, it's, it's, it damages saws. But it, it is a unique wood. If you haven't seen it before, you should look, at, don't look at a single board, okay? You've got to see an open box in a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna do some shots of some full boxes and let you see what's in a box. Again, they're mosaics, it's, it's like a salad. I've tried, I've told uh, customers in the past, you know, you never had a salad before, you reach in, you pull a piece off, and it's like, man, I like that. I really like salad, that was a carrot, okay? You gotta get a mouthful to know what a salad tastes like. It's the same way with hickory. We can't hold you up one board and say, well, I like the looks of that. Doesn't matter. You've got to see 10 boards, 20 boards. The more boards you see, the more representative it'll be, especially in the lower grades, okay? Uh, even, you know, if you're holding up 10 boards, they can be anything. You need to rack out a whole box, step back now. Do you like it or don't you? It's not for everybody. It seems like everybody's either hot or cold. They don't want it in their house or they won't have anything but. Listen, if you have any further questions, please feel free, pick up the phone, call us. We'll be glad to send you a sample or two. Won't tell you much, but at least you can hold it in your hand, you can beat on it with a hammer and see how hard it is. But we'd love to help you with any questions you might have.